cut it in at Thrift Hall. Sorry, we're late. It apparently is just our not, not our week for perfectness. We have dropped the TV that you guys saw. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, our 82 inch TV took a header. We had to buy a new one. Our garage door has been ran into. And tonight the website decided to be so it's just been a week, but we are excited to be here because you didn't even tell them fun. that the Jeep's in the shop. Oh, Odelia's Jeep's in the shop and we spent a thousand dollars fixing something that wasn't the actual issue. So there's that. But we're excited because we have lots of awesome stuff. This and isn't the woe is me show. This is the watch and look at awesome stuff at we found. Awesomeness. Um, Caitlin will be on here shortly. Make sure you're hitting up jrvhome.com. Look up the Saturday Night Thrift Hall. If you can't find the item, definitely look for the links because our website's being wonky. We were trying to fix it, so. All right, what's first on there? Oh, I saw a lamp. The okay, lamp is yes, up and we're running. we're gonna do the lamp because it's on there. We know the lamp's on there. So, this lamp <laughs> is hideous. It is so ugly, but I think it could be amazing. How much do we pay for that? What's the tag on it? Um, <laughs> Careful. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> it was $4. I found the tag when the shade fell off. $4. Haven't you ever heard not to throw shade? <laughs> if you don't know what that means, it's because it's a new term. All I right. So this was $4. I imagine we're going to put a gorgeous paint job up on this and make it look awesome yes. for whoever wants it to live in their so house. So I, I bought the lampshade separately, so that was probably like four bucks and four bucks. Are we going to skeleton it? $79.95 and we are going to hand paint this and we're going to paint all the flowers and we're going to make that into a skeleton shade. Skeleton shade. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. We will eventually get to painting even though we're late. We'll stay a little later for you guys tonight. Um, Stacy says I would have bought that to paint too. All right, what's next? Uh, the next item is the popcorn bucket. All right, so, so this popcorn bucket, I walked right on by it. I'm like, yeah, popcorn bucket. Don't you be walking by it. It looks bucket. like this, and it's awesome on this side. And then if you do want to have a little popcorn party, ta-da! Party in the front, business in the back. So like boring farmhouse or popcorn. But we're going to try to, I was actually going to try to get this off. I think this is, it looks like vinyl, someone painted vinyl on it, and it may come off. Yeah, we're going to try to get it off. the rest so of it's enamel. In the listing it said, no it's not enamel, well, this is, this is ceramic. No, this is metal. Drop that on the floor, see what happens. I'm too scared. It's ceramic. Oh, I see on the bottom. <laughs> That's not the best advice, just drop it on the floor, see what happens. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to drop it on the floor. How much, how much was it? Two dollars. And we're going to sell for twelve ninety five, and we're going to attempt to take the word popcorn bar off. So I'm not promising anything. We're gonna try it. If it doesn't oh, work Lana's out, here. I don't know if this. Caitlin did it. Finally this side looks amazing. Oh shoot! It's don't still drop it. It won't live. Why is not everything? Oh, loading? sweetie, this has a crack all the way through it. What? Right there. But it's not cracked on the other side. That's a superficial. Superficial crack. It's so cute. I don't care. It's coming right. to you for a good price. Twelve ninety-five. You two can have some crack. Wait, I can't show this yet. Okay. What's next? Yeah, not everything's loading up on the website. So the next item that oh, we the have bowls. actually loaded They're up. They're over on your bowls. side. All right, these bowls are really pretty. These are, if you guys watched the video on Monday, um, I had two bags in my hand. This was in one of the bags. This was the extra. I went in I had to go and take a potty break extra bowl. I came back with bowls. So one of them has a crack in them. So I put set of six. So there's actually seven bowls. I'm giving you one for free. <laughs> They were 75 cents and we're selling for $16.95. Has Les been on lately? You know what? She was on last week. I swear she was. Chris, Kirsten's, I'll text her. We actually have her number. I can text her next week. Um, Kirsten, that looks like it should hold popcorn kernels. Maybe. Why would it hold popcorn kernels? Like the crunchy kind that you can get and crunch on because they're good, like the half pops? Yeah, but don't crack your teeth on half pops. Oh yeah. All right, what's up next? That picture, hand it to me, please. This picture, remember the other week we had a picture, the handle had been broken, and we salt washed over it and then did a transfer and it turned out super cute. We're gonna do the same technique on this. This one's it's, been it's gorilla ugly. glued on. It's been glued back on. Most people will just pass it over. 
But once we salt wash it and put a transfer on it, it's gonna look awesome and have new life. So we paid how much for that? This was two dollars. I feel like you may have overpaid. Two dollars overpaid? Well, because the handle's been glued on with Gorilla Glue. We're gonna sell it for $19.95. Alright. But paint it. And the last one we sold it like painted. We last one I mean, sold it's, for six. The glue job but it was is good. Smaller. Especially if you're using this for decor, the glue job is amazing. And I think it's watertight. You could probably use it for a vase or something. The last one I Put washed after out. we painted it inside and it held water. But what I was going to say is that one has a really great spout. It does. Similar to the last one. This is good. All right. That's the whole point of this show, though. Taking something that's discarded or on its last leg and, you know, making it usable and good again. Just because it's been glued doesn't mean that it's not awesome. All right. True that. All right, moving right what's, along. What's next? Um, next is the clock. Oh, it's way down there. It's gonna be painted and it's gonna be $16.95 and I love the feet on them, the brass feet. It's got a little, uh, little hatch in the back. Those are my favorite. Okay. And then the little brass feet. And the, the handle's pretty ornate, too. It's good. It was $2. Now, how much are we selling it for, Jamie? $16.95. I think I already said it. Did you? I missed it. I wouldn't swear to it. So we're going to go through everything that is showing up on the website, and then we'll show you everything that's not showing up on the website. And then if you see something and you want it, just check back later or email info at jrvhome.com and we will send you the link because we have links but for some reason some of the stuff isn't showing up in the it's collection it's not loading up which is why we're 15 minutes late which is why caitlin made a song called jesus take the wheel she likes saying that to me in that exact voice and zeb was dying <laughs> because she's been with us on this last week it's been yeah she, been awesome. she went on the roller coaster of a week yeah if you've had a roller coaster of a week oh it's a carrie underwood oh, song we didn't even oh. know Hopefully you your week's looking up. It starts again tomorrow. This week has led me to drink. Okay. There's there's caffeinated soda in here. Next is that little spoony deal. Spoony deal. I think it's over here. This is like a ladle, but for setting on the table or something. I'm not sure. It's pewter. Yeah, it's cool. We it was paid 99 cents. 99 cents at the Goodwill. Which I we hit I, up a Goodwill. I named it Pewter Paddle and I put it for $14.95. Oh, I really? feel like I should lower that. Yeah, I feel like that's high. Let's yeah, let's I give an know. instant discount right now. Oh, just a second. Hold on. All right. Pewter Paddle. Why did I call it a Pewter Paddle? Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's a paddle. La I, oh, I think I meant to make name it Ladle. Ladle and, and it auto-corrected you? No, and I accidentally put a Pewter. How can you drink caffeine this late at night, Jamie? Because um, she had to she had to go get a drink. I needed a drink. I wasn't gonna make it without a beverage So this is the that's gonna be eight ninety five. So eight ninety five is the new upgraded Price upgraded downgraded price because it went down. Yep. Good for you guys. Good job, Jamie And I named it pewter label <laughs> ladle ladle. Oh, you know what things are selling even though it's not working Somebody just bought the brass deer, deer and the hardwood uh, well let's show the brass deer so they can at least see okay. what we had so we went up to bountiful this week you guys may have seen that in our first video on monday to pick up the buffet that we finished in yesterday's video those were in a bag where's the bag um i don't know where the bag is they were in a is. goodwill bag so i'm gonna say dollar 99. yeah they were they were cheap so goodwill has a bag wall we've talked about a lot they're solid they're solid brass it's a nice piece of brass it is Got a doe and a buck. <laughs> a doe, a deer. We're, maybe we're just, it was all that mountain air last night making us a little slap happy. So after all of this happened, except for the internet, the website not working today, last night I was like, Zeb, as soon as you get that video up, we're leaving. We're leaving the kids. We're leaving the old people. Sorry, mom and dad for calling you old. And we are going up to the mountain without internet service. I told Caitlin, I said, you're on call because we're gone. I let Ty and Mariah know we were leaving. I let the next door neighbors know we were leaving and we packed up our tent. And we went up the mountain. So if you guys, we're going to put some of the video footage. If you guys want to see the wilderness video. of Utah, because we drove way back into the mountains, uh, check out Monday's video, because we'll show you some little snippets. Not a bunch. Technically, but, uh, it was working, because we tested out new products that we're going to carry, hopefully, in the next month or so. All right, next. 
All the items are up. All the Get items together. are showing. Amen. We asked Jesus to take the wheel and he went driving. All, All right. right. So 75 cents. These little bud vases. Every time we find them, we get them. Every time. And I don't you know not what? buy milk glass. It's always, it, even if it doesn't sell right away in our shop, it looks awesome with like eight or nine of its friends that look just like this. And then sometimes we put flowers in them or uh, cotton or like wheat and it looks great. Oh no, Rose Petal says she has a torn meniscus and a torn rotator cuff. Ooh, that's tough. Oh. I hope it's not on your dominant arm. Oh, Janine bought the, she bought the deer. Oh, and if any of you guys have purchased something and now that it's live, you purchase again, email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. And if it's within the same 24 hour period of this live video, Caitlin can combine your shipping um, because we know that it happens. Sometimes you don't know you want it until you see it. This sold. This sold months. already. This is like the heaviest chunk of wood. And I keep, I'm like, is that really wood? Is that, it's too heavy to be wood. Is that really wood? But it's really wood. It's hardwood. Yep. It's and it's huge. Are we painting it? I thought we were leaving. Are we leaving this as is? I think this is a leave as is item. It's in really good shape and it looks cool. It's just an awesome pedestal with a twisted base. And I oh, like and it. the milk glass was $6.95. Did we say that? This was, yeah. That was $3.99. Yeah. Let me tell you about this. $3.99. We were done at the Goodwill. We were on our way out the door and I saw the cart, the cart that had the returns in it always check the return cart. Like people change their mind at the checkout. This was in the checkout cart. We sold it for $16.95, but whoever bought that got a tremendous deal because honestly, it's probably worth like 50 bucks. Yeah, it's but nice. But we got a good deal and we're just selling things along and we're not doing anything to it because it's gorgeous. And it also has felt on the bottom, which yeah. is a nice touch. It's felted. It's got a couple of crumbs from our table. No, I hope you don't mind a little. Oh, Lolly said she had to pop off and buy this kettle. So let's talk about the kettle. I bought this specifically with Lolly in mind. Um, we went to a yard sale and we actually, the yard sale was a little bit spendy because the guy knew what he had, but I could not leave this kettle there. Technically it wasn't a yard sale. It was listed online it on Facebook. It was an Facebook antique sale in his yard. Yeah, as an antique sale. And we found out that he used to have like a huge space at the antique uh, store that used to be called Nook and Cranny, but the old guy that was running it stopped. So now he's selling from his yard. And he lives like two streets over, so now we know where to go. And we actually bought a lot of stuff that you won't see that we kept for ourselves. <laughs> but this was $10 and we sold it to Lolly for $24.95. All right, good. I just saw that she said it's that her, condition too. her torn, torn rotator cuff and meniscus were not on her dominant arm. And did I see the surgery was scheduled? My dad just uh, had shoulder surgery a little while ago, and his arm was basically dangling. They do some amazing things now, so oh, Jean I, I said have high we hopes have a, for that. We have a customer that comes to the shop looking for an orange tea kettle. Well, poop. This one's going to Emma, but that's good to know, Jean. Well, now I we know. Find we'll find them. We'll, we can find them. Orange is, orange is making a comeback. Yeah. Jean, you're going to have to pass all your wisdom off to Tanea so she can remember all the things. Because today has taken over the day the day shift this summer. All this right, is thunder not, bucket. This is not for soup, folks. Don't make. I it mean, I mean you, could. you could probably, you know, it's probably well sanitized. Oh, at thanks, Jean. She said she made a note. We have a, a wall of notes in the back room of what people want. It's very organized. This is just some good enamel with a turned wood handle. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a thunder bucket. I paid $15 for it and I'm gonna sell for $29.95. Um, and these sell super fast, especially when they have the lid on them. So, and I was super excited to shop this guy's sale because he is a picker and he's spent so much of his life like preserving amazing, awesome things that- From I, Lehigh. From Lehigh that I wanna support that. We actually bought a bunch of turn of the century uh, church magazines and manuals that we're going to sell when we have the church. Um, and they're so, they're just cool. So it was super fun to go to his yard sale. Okay. This pitcher or would, oh. you, would you call this This a, is a gravy boat. Yeah, that's what I was I, I put that it was blown glass because to me it looks like blown glass. Look yeah, at it's, that. it's got some imperfections. It's not quite even. I definitely think this is handmade <laughs> blown. <laughs> Robert, what's a thunder bucket? Um, it's also known as a pooper. It was Back basically day, how you went to the bathroom at night. When you lived in a castle and then you would throw it out the window. A castle? 
I, well, yeah. I don't know, not that old. <laughs> I tagged it, I put one of the tags in there is the word pooper, just in case anybody is searching for it. <laughs> So we picked up this up at Goodwill for $2.99. Now someone in a previous video mentioned that Goodwill's prices are going up, which some things were way pricier than what we find at the DI, but some things were still a good buy. So don't count them out just yet. You know, go, go hunt your Goodwill down and see what they've got. Cause we found some really good stuff at two different Goodwills. Tom says, save you a trip to the outhouse. Yep. Also a boy just, just tried to FaceTime your daughter's iPad. Who? Angel. Oh. Angel, um. if you're watching this, I'm watching you. All right. This is going to sell like in about 2.3 seconds because it is perfect for paintbrushes. Put your paintbrushes in there, yeah. you know, put them in there to dry. Or colored pencils or any kind of art supplies. It's awesome. Um, it's not old. I but think it'd even be cool, cool with some floral in there too. Yes, it would be. How much was this one? This one was $3. Originally from Creative Co-op, which is a place I actually buy a lot of home decor from. But some, sometimes they have stuff yeah. for limited runs and you can't get more of it. I haven't seen that one before. And that one's going to sell for $14.95. Gene says it's super cool. Angel is a boy. And, and he likes Eliza. He likes Eliza, likes our, our 12 year old. They're, uh, I think they're in the same I class I said, well, school. you better not kiss him. And she said, ew. And I was like, here's the answer. thing. Something must be up because he was riding his bike by the other day and he called her to let her know. And they didn't hang out and talk in front of the house. They hung out and talked over in front of the neighbor's house thinking that old Pops wasn't watching. And I saw the whole Don't thing. Don't worry, we down. were watching and guess what? The neighbors are watching. The neighbors across the street are watching. That's the nice thing about living in our little neighborhood because there's lots of people at home all the time. We have, most of us go to church together and those of us that don't still talk all the time. So we know what's going on. We got a neighborhood watch. <laughs> it's just fun to see them grow up a little bit. I got to tease them. Yeah. All right. These are cute. These we bought at Goodwill. $1.99 blue enamel colander with a handle. It's the very unique. Colander. I haven't, I haven't seen a lot with the handle like this. Jean this says your poor loose. kids. Odelia went to Morp today and her friends came to pick her up and there was a boy that, that was her Morp, like they were dressed matching up together. And I was like, are we gonna get to meet him? And I almost said, Zeb, get your camping rifle out of the truck. He was gone. He wasn't interested in meeting <laughs> me tonight. He like, he like came up to the door. We got these big windows up front. I'm eyeballing him the whole way up. Odelia opens the door. She's like, hey, I'm like, hi, I'm Zeb. And the door was already closed and they were gone. The Kai says the hood mamas are watching. Yep. Hey, Ivy, Ivy's on. I forgot I had a headache. So. Tiny little baby colander, 99 cents at the Goodwill. Oh, the blue colander's there, not there unless she's not seeing it. Oh no. Oh shoot. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned for a colander <laughs> near you. Let's just say $9.95 each. Maybe Ivy didn't put it in. Like, maybe I didn't send Ivy the picture. All right, go to the next item. Next. Here's the drift tall. I'll do those. Okay. So we haven't showed these. The mini drawers, they will be painted. This is pressed tin of some sort on the front here. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that to lay high because it's a little bit. Okay, we got it. A little bit. I'll fix that. That might come off since we're painting it. But pretty cool. I don't um, want to take the tin off. They're, I don't know that they're jewelry drawers because usually jewel, jewelry drawers will have felt in them. These do not, but they could easily be used for that. Okay. So this we picked up for $5.99 um, and we'll be selling it for $19.95 after we paint it and do some decoupage or stamping or IOD transfers or possibly some stenciling, maybe some salt wash. You guys know the drill here. Can I get a high five for salt wash? We're you gonna, are doing awesome without me. We're gonna do some ASMR high five. That felt real good, right? If you don't know what ASMR <laughs> is, you'll find out on Monday's video because I took some great ASMR footage of the fire and a running brook. So Jamie watches this gal that does ASMR and ASMR she, she does like role play and she'll like pretend that she's doing your eyebrows and all you see on the camera is this. And I'm like, what is even going on here? And five minutes later, I'm asleep, it works. I found her because of Debbie. Debbie and I are both the same kind of weird. And she's from Mexicali, which is right next to Plexico, which is where I You grew. guys could have been neighbors when you were both kids. We were neighbors. We all right, 
So these canisters are awesome. They're How much did I say those colanders were? Nine ninety five okay. each. All right, let me. I'm almost there. Okay. So I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. I brought some extra lighting in tonight because it's dusk right now and it makes the lighting weird. So I needed a little extra boost. But we all need a little extra boost. So rings on the bottom of both of these, and then they have this that goes on top which is just regular old lid but it's domed i love that it's domed because a lot of times they're just flat or they're wood or they look like this flat see how this one's flat we'll show these in a second but we've got two of them a big one and a little one i would say that this is a quart and i would say that this is close to two quarts so these are let's see we paid $1.99 for that one $3.99 for this one and we're selling them for $22.95 for the set we're not going to paint them, not going to salt wash them. These ones are coming as is because they're good. They're so good. And I'm almost done. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is working. <clears throat> All right, I got those listed. Boom, boom. Let's put them on the website and we get back to comments. All right. Stoneware jar with lid. This one will also be painted. Oh, we got a super chat. What? I didn't see a super chat. Who gave us the super chat? Who do you think? It was $19.99. Sally Von's Wall. Thank you, Sally. We're putting that in the TV fund, or maybe the garage door fund, or maybe the Jeep fund. We're putting it in a fund. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Okay, so this canister, right? Stoneware canister, you're like, oh man, that thing's awesome. Don't paint it. Don't paint it. Well, sadly, they the fine. grapes gotta go. <laughs> they, they can't stay. No way are those staying they're underneath the glaze some which things, means we gotta paint it. Yeah, some things you can turn around and be like, hey, check out that good looking backside. But <laughs> other... Tom, Tom, I gotta read this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, on my daughter's first date, I hid in the back seat floorboard when they were not looking. Around the first corner, I sat up, yep, she turned red. <laughs> Dominating the car. Tom, that is epic. That's, that's next level, Tom. That is next level. What happened to the garage door? Somebody ran into it and we're not saying who because we don't want them to feel bad. But it wasn't I me, think, it wasn't Zeb. I think that she already feels bad enough. And it's totally fixable. Yeah, it's one easy fix. Have, this week, my cousin passed away. It's not what tonight's live is about. But one of the things I've been thinking about a lot this week are the things that happen that really are no big deal. Like you just fix them and move on and you don't get bad because family is the most important thing. The garage door, no big deal. Cousin passing away, that's important. Got to figure out how to get out to a funeral in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Already done, bought a ticket. All right. Oh, Carly says for your TV, I found your channel super fun. Thank you, it's going in the TV fund. Thank you, Carly. And you know what? We went to Sam's Club and they were super, I'm not even like, Seriously, the lady was so, so nice. She like, was amazing. It was already on sale, and she's like, we'll give you an extra 20% off. And I'm like, oh, that is so sweet. Okay. So, so I can't complain. Their, we took their big TV. That's right. Okay, moving on to Santa. We're Santa's coming today. in. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. We're super chatty, and it may be a result of too much sun, too much campfire smoke, too many things happening this week. Too much caffeine. <laughs> All right. Picked up Santa. He's missing the little ball off his stocking cap, but I'm okay with that. Is he going to be painted? I hope you said he's no. going to be painted because he's missing his uh, his ball off his cap. No. Nine ninety five. We'll keep the price the same. Maybe we'll just do some just highlights and maybe do like some. What I think I'll do. He's already like this fun silver color. He's made out of resin. Um, we'll just do like some copper or maybe even some uh, some uh, pennies from heaven or some. How about you just put some paper clay on it? Golden there? ticket. I don't know why I was spacing golden ticket. Or I could put some, well, I have to paint it either way. Like you can't leave that. Okay, it needs to be painted, but I don't know if it's if it's sold or not. Kayla, if it hasn't sold, can you just put will be painted? And if it has sold, we'll just message him and make search. Okay. He holds a candle, which is even awesome. Because you know, Santa holding the candle. It's just good. Um Caitlin says it's from too much stress. Your brain is trying to balance it out with laughter. Hey. That's how I've lived my life the last six years of self-employment. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of laughter. So this was at the Goodwill. It was in the hard goods. The hard goods. That's what it says. It's hard crystal. It was $5.99. I was excited. And it's I, And I grabbed this and I was like, yep, keeping this one. Um, it's super good. He's keeping that candy dish. $5.99. 
and we're selling it for the low, low price of $12.95. And it's Picasso. We also found some crystal. We're like, whoa, put that back on the shelf. There was some stuff I was <laughs> like, you want $20 for that? I'm not buying it. Okay, these are both from the Goodwill. This one was $2.99, and this one. Oh, thanks, Carly. I'll check out those uh, buffet photos. She had one just like ours, and she had the same weird wax stuff on oh, it. Oh, nice. That, like, weird orangey stuff. Anyways. So this one was $3.99, but the tag is MIA. Um, but this one has a little bit larger top on the dome than this one does, and a bigger base, even though the domes are actually about the same size. The base is a little larger on this one. This one's got a little extra wear, which we love. Um, but both are good. Hold on, where's the... You can see the difference in the domes. So how much? $18.95. They're sold individually and they're lettered A and B. Ivy lettered them, so make sure you're checking out the picture and you'll get the one that matches. Super oh, chat super chat from, from Leslie. Leslie. Choose the phone. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks, Leslie. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we appreciate it. We realize that we're not the only ones that things like that happen to. We almost didn't put it in there that the TV broke, but I told Zeb, I'm like, you know what? You can't always just share everything that goes hunky-dory. I want people to know that, like, sometimes you're making a video. You're trying to show people how to make a $40 frame for their TV. And then you break your $1,400 TV that you just got for Christmas and haven't even hardly had time to watch. Sometimes that happens. It's okay. Yep. It's water under that bridge. And you know what? More water's coming. Hey, Les, we were wondering where you were at. She said she forgot we were on. I was actually going to text you if you didn't get on because, um... Everybody was like, where's Les? And I wanted to make sure you're okay. Hello, hello. Okay. So we call these apothecary jars. I think a lot of people call them that, but. It's big. I but don't we know. also do. You know? It's all right. You almost made me cuss on TV. I think I might have a little bit. No, you watch out for oh, that. Shoot. You know, if you never swear, you never have to worry when you may or may not oh, say something. Oh, thanks, Les, for that super chat. Thank you, Les. We appreciate that, especially in the light of Zeb almost praying. <laughs> this would be a fun life. Uh, it's I, a fun when live I told video. Caitlin we were going in the mountains, she was like, um, "Don't fall off a cliff." Or get eaten by a bear. Or get eaten by a bear. We were in bear country. We were about eight thousand, nine thousand feet high. We were in bear country, and we were very close to the ledge multiple times. <laughs> Jess says you cussed a little in your mouth. <laughs> He said, your dad voice came out. <laughs> yeah, I cussed a little. And Zeb's dad voice comes out anytime I do anything questionable. It's okay. After 20 years, I'm used to it. <laughs> okay, so the apothecary jar was $5.99. I did not break it. And uh, it's selling for $28.95. We're not going to paint it. <laughs> Caitlin says, this week I wouldn't have been uh, surprised. And Heidi says, way to cover the lecture up. No, legit. And he also knows that I don't care and I'm still going to do what I want. So... It works out all right. So we found these canisters, $2, $1.50, $1.50, this one has the There's spoon a little broken, chip in the so spoon. it's a kind of a larger chip, but it's not unusable. So we're going to sand the chips. It looks like Jack's mouth right now. We should have Jack come show you his smile. He's <laughs> losing <laughs> teeth like crazy. <laughs> his smile cracks me up. And like every time he smiles at me, I'm like, I can't even with that face right now. And then we went to the legacy center, which is like the rec center here in Lehigh. And we had to take pictures for our passes that we have. It's where we work out and go swim and stuff. And Jack wanted to take a picture with his goggles on. And then he smiles. That's but he's it. missing teeth. And the gals were laughing so hard because he's so cute in his little picture with his goggles and his big missing tooth up front. It was good. So I'm going to throw a little something out here. If you want the canister set and you end up getting it, you can get the spoon with the Jack chip tooth. Or I can sand this down and mostly fix that for we you. We are sanding it down. I put it in the listing. Oh, well, then don't worry about for it. For $34.95. I'll sand that. I want to see Jack. Jack! Well, Jamie, well, Jamie will go get Jack. Come here. <laughs> Come here. They want to see your teeth. I don't think he can hear you. He's up yeah, there. Yeah, he did. He said what? Oh, he did say what? All right. Yeah. Okay, who's ready to plant some bulbs in this soup terrain right, that doesn't just have... Just they want to see your tooth that's missing. Come here. Oh, we got a super chat. Thank you. Right. Can you smile? Can you guys see smile? Here, come come up close, Jack. You can you can go show him your face. Ow. Climb on up there, Jack. Show him your teeth. Give him a big oh toothless smile. He's so proud that he's losing teeth. <laughs> the next one's loose too. 
<laughs> so pretty soon he's gonna be like, blow, look at that. <laughs> you can fit right. your whole finger in there. Two players going broke. Okay, back upstairs. All right, I don't wanna say your name wrong for the super chat. So Jax, I'm gonna let Jamie do it. Jaxa Iredale. Okay. Jaxa Iredale. Thank you for the super chat. She says, you guys rock. Thanks for your awesome content. Well, thank you. Oh, Carter just lost his tooth. Tanya's little boy. I should, not to be confused with Mariah's little boy, Carter. Soup tureen. This one, oh no, this one's all scratched up. It's okay. I'm going to try to see how much we pay for it while you find out how much we're it's selling all scratched it for. It's where? The price, the sticker on there. Oh, I was like. Oh, the stickers I, all kinds of messed California up. It's California pottery. It says USA on the bottom. It's, it's a California style. It was two dollars. No and spoon. We're selling for nineteen ninety five. I'm pretty sure. Like mm. I'm like ninety nine point nine. So the best thing to do with these is, once they lose their spoon is to plant something awesome in them. Yeah, I like to plant bulbs in them. Nineteen ninety five. Amazing planters. Or you just put it on your shelf with the spoon part to the back, and then people can't tell. It's an awesome terrine. I love the like lured kind of handles. You know what, there's also nothing that says that you can't go get yourself a fancy silver spoon and drop that down in there too. Eat your soup with a silver spoon. Let's show them the spoon. This, so this the one, other terrine is the one that was in my other bag. So if you watch the video on Monday, what happened? He's gonna show you the actual oh, tooth. Oh, do they want to see it? I got the actual tooth. It's really tiny. Hold on. Okay. All right, buddy. And we're not actually and selling that. The Tooth Fairy already paid for it. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, soup right. terrine this with is the, the one spoon. With the spoon. I had those two bags that I went to the bathroom, and one was the bowls, and then one was the soup terrine. It's false graph, and it was $3, and I'm selling it for $29.95. Not as fancy as the last one, but I kind of like the simple design. Yeah, well, and you know, when you find them with the spoons out in the wilds, also known as the thrift store or picking, in it's always wild. a good day. Yeah, and it's always a good day when you go to the bathroom and you come back and you're like, hey, I didn't go down that aisle, and you find a Homer oh, Laughlin bowls. Oh, this is a good spoon, too. And, yeah, and it's got like a nice flat bottom. Yeah, I, usually I they're like all round and not flat on the bottom. I like that. Yeah, and it's false graph, so it's a good brand, too. Yeah. Karen says that's a rad tooth. Ivy says I love tooth and smile smiles. Ivy, did, how many teeth is your daughter missing right now? She has her little girls, I think, what, kindergarten? So she's like a year younger than Jack. Ivy has two cute kids. I don't know how she ever tells them no. When they come to visit, I'm like, what can I give you? What do you want when they're at the shop? Because they're so cute. Okay, little tiny rocking horse, $3.99, handmade. This was handmade. And the tail is sad. The tail needs some love, but it's zip tied on there. Okay, can you see the zip tie on that little metal hook? We're gonna get rid of the tail. Are we painting this? What? Are we painting this horse? Yeah, we are gonna paint the horse, but the tail's gotta go. Tail's gotta go. I'm trying to find the horse. Jean says you just don't tell them no. It's true, and they're, when they're not your kids, you don't have to. Yeah. Well, there it is, $24.95 painted. $24.95 we're painting. Which I feel like is a pretty good deal because it's a big rocking horse. And there's a lot of detail on this. But I'm not that. putting the tail back because it's just sad. So if you need a tail, you'll have to glue your own yarn. Go get yourself some yarn. Make yourself an amazing, beautiful yarn tail. Jean says, just like Jack, I gave him a Milky Way. Jack came in to go potty today in one of the few trips I made to the shop. And Jean's like, shh, take this Milky Way. And he's like, got this candy like he's being naughty. <laughs> I, I don't know, did I give him a cracker or something like that? We've just been swimming. Have we been swimming? Yeah, we were going we just, swimming? We just came back from swimming. It was a busy day. Like the first time I came to the shop, I hadn't even showered yet and I had been camping with Zeb. The second time I came to the shop, we just got done swimming, so I would look like a brown rat. <laughs> the horse is awesome. It's going to get painted. Okay, let's talk about some old knitted, what would you call these? Afghans? Afghan. Um, so I never pass these up. I love to give them to the people that love them. This one is like a bright orange with like a salmon orange and then a blue and a white. And it's apparently used. When you first look at it, it feels like it's red. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. I don't know the rest of the song because I don't like musicals. Find, catch me a catch. And it's 1995. How much should we pay for that one? One of them was cheaper than the other. This one was $4.99. Okay, that was $4.99. This one is blue and green and yellow. Yeah. Also 1995. Oh, this one's my colors. Watch my eyes pop. <laughs> I 
I think I paid like seven or eight dollars for this one. I'm looking for the tag. Yeah, this was eight dollars. So paid a little more for that one. See how that works. They was were it warm. cold in the mountains? There was some snow, and it was a little it chilly was, at night. But Zeb is a heater. It so. was. There were there were patches of snow. Um, every now and then there was like a patch of snow like the size of my truck that was like two feet deep. Yeah. But it was pretty much dried out up there. The river was out. running like crazy. Oh my it's, gosh, yeah. It's just seeping water out of that mountain right now. Shepherd with the snow. fashion. He's yeah. ready for the... Where's my hook? For the nativity. I have the sheep. I just need the hook. Oh, you do have the sheep. Yeah. We are shepherds. Hey, did anybody put those sheep to bed? I need to go do that before the sprinklers spray them all wet all night because they'll go stand in front of it. Cause Eliza! Always... No, the sprinklers don't come on. I can do it after. Okay. Video. I was going to say, I could make an announcement. No. <laughs> Donna said she woke her husband up from laughing. Oh, Kai said the lady who wants the orange teapot needs the afghan with orange. The lady, Jean said the lady that wants the orange teapot wants an OXO brand. I think that's when they sell it. Target, I'm not sure. Maybe. All right. So I believe this is for growing topiaries type stuff around. We paid $4. We're selling it for $19.95. You can't really see that it's got... Yeah, you grow your vines go. around it. Yeah, it's for your garden. But I thought it would be cool to hang stuff off Kai of says it's for Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, and that Kai love is Janice. Right? Yes. Is good? Yes! Um, and that's probably where I have actually seen it more is from Mrs. Doubtfire, because I love that movie, than actually the movie that they're referencing. Oh, Fiddler on the Roof. She's never yeah. watched it. She, I was trying to get her to watch it the other night. We oh, got Jean like, says they aren't at Target. We got like five minutes in. She'd already passed out. I will be on the hunt, Jean. All right, let's talk about this one. Did we say how much we bought this for? Four dollars. Yeah, okay. I did. So this I paid a dollar for. We're not doing anything to it. It's already got decoupage, like old newspaper. It's not actually old, but that's what it's supposed to look it's like. Got the look. And the the wood is like a medium tone, but not uh, orangey. This is the move. Uh, Kayla says she watched Fiddler on the Roof on the two-pack of VHS. I had to do the same. And then there's that, like, long intermission, like, uh, Gone with the Wind You has. have an afghan on your beard. Oh, really? Like a fuzzy. Kind yeah. of fuzzy. Did you get it? Was it an orange one or a blue one? There you go. The dress form sold for $16.95 and we paid $1. Fun mirror. I imagine this, this was $4. I imagine it says to be painted. Yes, and it's going to have IOD molds and we're going to put seashells on it because I saw a, a tutorial from Ellen J. Goods where she put IOD molds and made them look like old French shell art. And I thought oh. this would be perfect for that. This would be perfect So I'm gonna that. copy Ellen, I'm gonna give her credit and I'm gonna do it. We won't, probably won't do this one until our Monday video because it's gonna be Ellen J. Time. Goods is in New York, right? Mm-hmm, it's gonna be $49.95. I know her real name. Her name is Lynn. I almost lost Santa. Gianna says, yay, seashells. I know, right? I need to do something with them. And I saw Ellen's project. I was like, that's perfect. Because I haven't really used them much. So someone used this as an address book, A through K. It, would be a it good was recipe. 99 cents. We're thinking it'd be a great mint recipe box. Don't even have to change it. Or you put chocolate in there. I don't care. The color is amazing. And for 99 cents, I picked that up at Goodwill and I did not even look back. I'm going to sell for $7.95. $7.95. Okay, let's start salt and pepper shakers. I have a few sets of these to show, so. $19.95 for those. And we paid, um, those were in a bag. Yep, these so $1.99, and we're going to sell them for $19.95. They will be painted with milk paint. Um, we do and this, and then we hemp oil them, and they're still food safe that way. Oh, Robert Heard for Jack's Tooth Fairy Money. Uh, thank you, Robert. Thank you. He's, we're going broke over here. <laughs> okay. I don't know if he's watching this, but Jack knows about the Tooth Fairy, so it's like, here, I brought, I have like a change bucket that I keep in case the kids need money, and I brought out my bucket, I was like, he still gets, it's he from still the gets... Tooth Fairy, and Jack's like, um, I get more than a dollar, I was like, here's another dollar, he's like, thanks, <laughs> and he left. We're very pragmatic right here. <laughs> You know, we're real. okay, so these were also in the Goodwill wall. They were $1.99. I don't think the picture does them justice. They were made in Hong Kong. So that'll give you an idea of like the age when they were writing made in Hong Kong and stuff. I love the salt and the pepper on the top. Is that the 70s, 60s, yeah, 70s? Yeah, a dollar, yeah, 60s. Um, I think, I'll have to Google it to be sure. $1.95 and these are selling for $16.95. Very vintage, classic. We're leaving them Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do anything to that. Uh, I mean, they're they're slightly rusty, so maybe just decor. 
I'll get there a little bit more. Unless you need some rust in your diet. Them's just good minerals. Them's just good for decor. All right, okay. rolling pins. We found one again. We had to go way up north. It's been since we've been showing all these videos of rolling pins, we have a hard time finding them now. But now we went up north and we found one. We're gonna sell for $10.95. That's the same price we've been charging for like three years. And we're gonna paint the handles, which they're gonna take paint super good because this is really dry. Yep. We'll lightly sand the, where there's a few scratches on here and then we'll seal it all with hemp oil because that's food safe. And that already sold. And then here's French like a little pen. French rolling pin. This one was only 75 cents. And we are not doing a darn thing to it because it's way cool. We might throw some hemp oil on it for feeling feeling awesome. Um, and I think it doesn't we need that it one though, for I don't like think. $9.95? I'm gonna wait till Yep, it's up there, $9.95. $8.95. Oh, $8 and it's old. Oh, Les came in late. She wants to see this. Les, you know darn well what this bucket is. It's a pooper. And it's $29.95. Okay, baggy oh goods. This was $1.99. It's got copper cookie cutters in it. Um, there's a couple heart shapes. We've got a turkey. I loved all the copper ones. There's a Santa if you're feeling festive. Um, little bunny. And then we've got an angel. Angel, that's Eliza's friend's name. Yeah. And then here's another heart. But also in here is the rare aluminum chicken. The, the lone Actually, I think it's just tin. Not copper. It's just tin. It's not aluminum. Sorry. Even better that it's tin. $1.99. And we're selling them for, hold on. Wait for it. $12.95. Lou and, says that she loves our rolling pin that, that she got from us. Is it one of our JRV rolling pins? I don't know. That Ty and Mariah are making? Mariah's been making those lately. Angela says, oh, the chicken. Oh, yeah, Mariah's been rocking out those rolling pins. I need you guys, though, all my JRV friends, to shout out a, a, a little extra pair for Ty and Mariah. They are knee-deep in woods orders. Wood prices have gone through the roof. And they are working hard to fulfill things, so they need a, a few extra prayers. So help a sister out. All right, dollar ninety nine, and those are selling for twelve ninety five. I'm straightening all the handles for you guys. Because sometimes we don't have the answers; we just give it to God, and He comes up with whatever is best for us. All right, can you find bring me those horses over there? Yes. These, horse, of course, of course. These are from Round Top. Yeah, these are from Round Top. They're not really thrifted. Oh. Not everybody can hear that. That's ASMR. $12.95, and we sell a right and a left. Give, give it, and I'll tell you. We, only, we have 10 of each. Yeah, that's all we got. I love these so much. Thank you for your prayers, guys. So right and left, $12.95. <laughs> but we sell them individually. So if you just want one, you can have one. But if you want a pair that look at each other like this, buy a right, buy a left, we have 10 of each. Or, you know, they could be, they could be grumpy, grumpy cats and looking away. Lolly bought the left horse. It reminded me of like um, the Twix and they're like left Twix, right Twix. It's like, which one is better? They're old and rusty. They were probably like on a fence, like every now and then you'd see them on a fence, you know, go, some going this way, some going that way. I don't know. I just bought them because they were cool. They're actual real rust on them. So I'm going to move them off of our table. <laughs> yeah, well, this table's seen worse. Okay, just making sure I'm answering all the questions here. All right. This is a Zeb pick. Zeb found this one. So I got this. I was going to put some little feet on it, but it's so thick. I may just sand it down and leave it as is because it's cool. Ignore the title on this because I apparently was having a night. It says cutting board will be sanded and restain it with DM food safe stain. DM. It's going to be sanded and stained and we're going to use food safe stain and hemp oil. That's what that should say. I don't know what it does say. $24.95 and we paid $1.50. dollar fifty for this much oak? I couldn't leave it at the no. thrift store. No, no. It's probably handmade by the yeah. looks. And we're just going to give it, freshen it up with a new stain and oil. Yes, time Rye are okay. They're, they're not, doing good. They're, they're okay. You know how sometimes when you just have a lot to do, it gets a little bit overwhelming and you're not sure how you're ever going to get to the other side? How I felt pretty much every day when we were trying to build a house. <laughs> There was only, you know, lots of, lots of things happened that helped us, but the only thing that really helped us every time without fail was prayer. So, all right, speaking of horses. This horse has the most wild mane I've ever seen on a spoon. It's got my mane. 
Look at that thing. He's racing. It okay. could be a she. The pewter you know, horse screen is nine ninety five. And it's uh, what? How much is it? It doesn't say. And I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure it's pewter. Zeb and I both discussed it. We felt like it was like on the back. It's heavy. It's, it's very got polished. The pitting like pewter. Yep. So I think we paid seventy five cents for it. Yeah. So we found these. Just with the regular old silverware, you know, you have to grab a bag of silverware. They got it in every thrift store. There's like 300 mismatched spoons. That's where we found these, that horse spoon. And then also this, I want to say this is silver. Um, I called it tarnished because I don't know. Yeah, it, Tanya's on here. It was good to see you today. I was in the back room and I, I Tanya, I was like, hi, Jamie. And I was like, I'd come out, but I just got done camping. And she's like, it's Tanya. I was like, oh, I can talk to you. You don't mind if. Tanya knows me from way back. She doesn't care if I'm a stinky campfire with two-day-old makeup. <laughs> Tanya knows us from when we were very first married. Ta no, not that Tanya. Oh, different Tanya. Tanya Rob, but we did Marcus oh, together. You know yeah, Tanya. I know Tanya. I know I'm like, different Tanya. No. We, we know of a few Tanyas. <laughs> but anyway, these are cool. I, these were, I believe, there's no price on these. I think these were 75 cents as well. Yeah, they were as well. What happened to my... Which, for this, tarnished, it's an awesome deal. Sorry guys, normally I have all of my prices ready, but not today. $12.95 is how much we sell those for. And we sell those fast. In fact, the last pair sold in the shop. All right. We're so done. this was from the yard sale. Colgate brushless shaving cream. I paid $5 for it. Look at the jar. And I think that the picture is still missing. No, just the berry well, collar. Right $14.95. Why did the berry collar one not save? But anyway, did Caitlin fix the cutting did board. You, did you pay four dollars, five dollars for this? Five dollars. Five dollars at the yard sale. Why is it not? Hold on. So we are sold out of the leopard print dresses right now. They, they don't have them. They anymore. went super quick, and the manufacturer was a limited run for them. So Jamie's looking to see if uh, she can find a different source for something similar. I had just ordered different dresses. I was over it. I looked everywhere. She, she couldn't, couldn't find, find them. them. I couldn't find them. I, it makes me mad when I order something, and then like the next week I need more, and they're gone. I was like, where did they go? Everybody else thought they were awesome So this too. is for sugar, and it actually has sugar in it. We'll wash that out. But it's got its little spoon, and the lid with the notch for the spoon says sugar on it. I will load up the berry pictures later. 99 cents from the Goodwill. Or sell for 9.95. It's super cute. All right, tell them about these. So there were two of these and one had a big fat crack in it. So I had to pitch it like bad, couldn't save it crack. I think these are handmade. Mm -hmm. um, they've got a name on the bottom. They were 99 cents and I'm selling this one for 6.95. Hold on. Check out the handle on and that I, though. I love the handle and I love that the tree was embossed. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. She asked me to say, when we're done with the live, Caitlin, when Zeb's putting up the um, ads and stuff, I will send you the colander picks. So this is from, it says Shammy, S-H-A-M-Y. Shammy. Shammy. It could be Shammy because that's, that be two M's that's if what it was Logan shammy? called me, Mariah's little boy for a long time. I feel time. like that's if shammy. it was Shammy, it would be two M's. That's Shammy. Well, that's Shammy made at 1975. The handle's good. Look at it. Yeah. It looks like a Swedish tree. It does look like a Swedish tree. Okay, is this? we got two more things. Two more things on the thrift haul, then we're gonna paint a little bit. Fiesta didn't even know that they made pans. This is an enamel pan, it's got a lid. It's got a little chip, which I did show in there. Caitlin said that that chamois reminded her of sham wow. It's like an orangey color. It's almost coral, but it's more orange than coral for sure. I love the aluminum handle and the topper. So we paid $9.99 for it at the Goodwill. Or we sell for $29.95. And I love it because it's cute. It is cool. And the handles are good too. <laughs> okay. Les says she uses the poop pot as a trash can in her bathroom. It's good. That's good oh idea. no, Leslie, go get your bulldog. Oh, my flip flops stuck on the stool. <laughs> Kai said, orange pan, where's that lady? Whoa, Zeb. Whoa. It's just a week. There's a little orange. Okay, next is this awesome crock, and I paid $2.99 for it. I'm gonna clean it all up. It's just a little crusty. I'm gonna put an IOD transfer on it. 
and it's going to sell for $12.95. And this is the last item. So I'm going to go get a painting towel. Yeah, get a painting towel. Oh, we're going to paint that tonight? Yeah, we'll do that one tonight. While you're painting it, I'm going to do the skeleton shape. I'm, well, why can't we just burn the skeleton cake? Yeah, that's so fun. Tom wants you to burn it. I can't burn it. Why can't you? We, oh, that's true. My, we can't burn stuff. We can take it up to the, the mountain. High on the mountain top of the Alright, so I'm gonna this just has probably been sitting on somebody's cabinet for a while. So I'm just going to get all the crusties off of it and then I'll dry it and we can put an IOD transfer. I still have a few left of the classic pots. I hope that IOD gets us back in stock soon. Paint on here. Oops, now it's under my finger now. The one thing I like about taking the kids swimming is after I swim for a few hours, it's like the only time that my fingernails are ever devoid of paint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to scooch some stuff. All right. I'm just going to keep scrubbing this. It's not greasy. I, it's just like got like weird. Are we doing a transfer on that tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take a second. Oh, okay. What transfer do you want? Just whatever we've Classic got? Classic pots. Okay, I'll go see if I can hunt I that I thought we out. were out, but we had more. All right, I'm gonna get, so we've been showing you stuff from jrvhome.com. The transfers, which I think we're out of Classic Pots, but we will get it back eventually. So click the notify me when back in stock. Um, the transfers and the paint you could get at jamierayvintage.com. And on jamierayvintage.com, everything except for DIY paint and DIY paint brushes, it's free shipping over $35. Um, at jrvhome.com, because everything is really weird, wonky sizes, if you spend $200, you get free shipping. So, that's my commercial. We're going to drop those links in the description box. They're probably already there, because I think they're on permalink. All right, did you find the transfer, sweetie? Yes, just, just now. All right, sorry to go off camera. I'm just going to grab paper towel. Let me see if I can find you the applicator stick. What? Okay. Les says, please paint the lamp. She really wants you to see. I'm going to paint it in a minute. Les, Zeb's going to paint it. I'm not. He's better at working through being tired. I don't think I could do my best work today. All right, I'm going to use this French one on this. Where, where are the... Where's the scissors? Oh, they're right there oh. on the counter. They were hiding. So when Classic Pots gets back in stock, run, don't walk to buy it. Like I said, if you go to jamierayvintage.com, you can click notify me when back in stock. This is everything that's on there, all these little logos and, and things. And then you'll get a notification. All this old signage, it's good. And it's small enough you can use on like a lot of little decor. And I don't know why, like we've carried them for a long time, but it took me forever to like put two and two together that if I bought these plain white Crocs that I could put these on them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I finally found out how awesome they are. And then I already sold out. Okay, Maybe. Jamie, what's the plan with the flowers? Are we gonna paint those different? So I feel like you need to paint the whole thing and then yeah. I just... think I was gonna just paint it white. Okay, but they need to be painted. So that the flowers really pop. All right, do what you want. Okay. Well, I think we're out of white swan. We what? used a ton of it this week. Maybe you can't paint it, even though Les wants you to. Um, never fear. No, can't do it that color. No, it needs to be awesome. Like you can't just, you know what, Zeb? Grab something light, like gravel road or whatever, and That's then what let's. I'm looking for. And then let's put. Do we have any pennies from heaven? You want to do the flowers copper? No, I want to do the whole thing copper. Oh, paint it white. So yeah. we don't have pennies from heaven. We have. We have uh, Nope, paint. I don't want that. Okay, let's just paint it gray, and then on Monday, we'll put pennies from heaven on it. Or do we have an orange color? That also works good under pennies from heaven. We have some orange there. Lolly would die if we used orange paint. I'll look and see. All right. In the meantime, I'm just rubbing this transfer on. So these transfers, um, once I put this on here, it's going to be from decor only. You can run some sealer over it if you want to, but I feel like it makes it not look good. So I just put them on there and then they're for decor only. 
I mean, you can clean around it. You just don't want to scrub the transfer. Okay, this is Summer Crush. Also a victim of we needed a pot for Waste Out Wednesday two weeks ago so that we could make our Cinco de Mayo flower pots. So we're going to paint it orange, but it's not going to stay that way. If you want to find out how it's going to turn out, you got to watch Monday's video. Well, that's when we finish all the things that need to be painted. Yep. That's, we started doing that and we love it so much because... It's not because we don't want to show you everything here. It's just because it takes a while. It's like coming up on midnight East Coast time and we got to get people to bed. Well, and it just allows us to complete a project and then people get to see it. So we, we've been doing that. Plus Mondays we go junking and then we finish last week's junk. It's very like, it's very satisfying to like finish all you know, the projects from the week before, before you buy new projects. I don't want to, I don't want to like be too optimistic, but this summer crush is already making this look better. Right? It actually is. Just so, making it all one we're gonna, solid it's color. It's going to be super copper. Awesome. Super copper. Super awesome copper. Also, you guys, if you, nobody has bought the mid-century nightstand from last week, so. It's at risk. It's, it's almost It's not at time. risk. Like, if it doesn't sell by Monday, I am painting it. Everybody says, don't paint mid-century, but nobody's bought it. I don't think every, anybody from our group here that says don't paint it, though. I think oh. we've got some mid-century painters in this Let's group. Let's take bets. Comment below if you think we're going to get shade for painting it. Oh, yeah. That's kind of why I bought it because I wanted because it's good inter it's good interaction. Because she's like, watch me. Watch me paint this, and I offered it for sale without paint first. I gave those mid-century lovers an opportunity. Here's the thing, you know, we asked we're gonna ask the same price for it painted, yeah. Oh yeah, that's still sell for the same price. But so I think it's for sale unpainted for one forty-five. We're just one twenty-four. You know, is it 124? 124 95 until right Monday, right. and then I'm gonna take it down because I'm gonna paint it, so. It's like the, if you don't want me to paint this, you'd better buy. Save it from the brush. <laughs> I have another dresser in the shop that I'm gonna paint too because nobody's bought it. All right, okay, before. Oh, Cynthia says paint what? Last week we had a mid-century nightstand. So this is not staying this color. We will do copper over the whole thing. We just, we're out of pennies from heaven right now. Just at home. Yeah, at home. Oh, I hope that we have some in the shop. I know, I know, I know where some is. Oh, it open already? Yeah. Oh good, because it's been, DIY has had it on back order, but I know we had quite a bit in our stash. All right, guys, look how awesome that is. $2.99, $14.95 now. This is gonna look really cool, all copper. The pennies from heaven looks so much like just real Lisa copper. Lisa says you get shade, it. but who cares? Not me, or I wouldn't paint it. <laughs> I don't care enough not to paint it, yo. But I do get people, you know, if they love it, not paint it, I'm giving them the opportunity. So if you're watching this and you love mid-century, check it out. It's still in the thrift hall collection, the nightstand. You can save it. Adopt a, adopt a nightstand. All right. That's so cute. Can you guys feel this as copper? You see in it? Imagine it in your mind. Um, Caitlin, it's in the nightstand is in the thrift hall collection. It's not in the furniture collection. The tall boy is in the shop. Yes, Jean, it is. The Helen says, Do you remember when you did that purple dress for with a transfer? I want to show my husband, but I can't find it. Um, it, there's a video if you check, if you scroll back a few weeks, it was the decoupage paper. It's not on the website still, I don't think, because it's sold as soon as we finish that. Yeah, but you could you could watch the video. Oh, Caitlin just found the nightstand. Thank you. All right. Yeah, the audio looks awesome. So pretend that that isn't orange and it's copper. The thing about the pennies from heaven. Even orange, it's like way better. Yeah, one color really helps that thing out. It's very like mod, this orange color. But pennies from heaven, you have to paint it over a solid color. And I feel like this color, which is, is this Summer Crush? Yes. Summer Crush is one of the best colors under Pennies from Heaven because you get a really true copper color. So once that we put the Pennies from Heaven on it next week, we'll add some white wax and make it look a little oxidized. And I feel like it's going to take it from trashy to classy. I mean, I can't guarantee that that's what's going to happen because you don't know. But we'll picture, like it. <laughs> picture it copper, like this color. Here, for the copper mug. For reference. This is gonna look like this. This, this, only a little bit darker, more aged copper. 
Oh, I, let me show them this. I have the same yard sale that we got the tea kettle that Lolly bought. I got this lamb mold for $5 and I'm keeping it. And Deb got some blacksmithing hammers. All right. Super excited about those. I'm gonna put this up. Oh, you got. Did you show them? Oh, it's okay. It's okay, it's on the front. It's, it's on the front on. side, yeah. Did I show them what? Did you show them your thing up close? As far as you could reach with your little T-Rex arms? The what? Your croc thing over there. Oh yeah, I already did that a lot. Okay. Um, Denise, we are hopefully gonna get more crockery stamps soon. They've been on back order. Everything, as soon as IOD gets it, we order like 500 million. And we should be getting the um, pre-orders in the next week, I would think. Oh, well, older to that though, 500 million. 500 million, holding to it. Will it still be a lamp less? Yes, it will. So we'll yep. put us, we'll put a. We have this shade here that goes on it. We're gonna skeleton shade it out, Edison bulb. It looks amazing when we do that. I think it'll be especially good as the, with the Edison bulb. Oh, she's done it. Now you've done it. I'm gonna show you. And the copper, the Edison bulb and the copper are gonna look good together. I Sorry, I, I was like sitting here, I'm like, oh, I didn't finish my sentence. I thought it through, but you've I didn't been, say it out loud. You've been hanging out with me for way too long. I don't finish my sentences a lot. Um, we're gonna probably paint the metal on the shade gold too. So it matches, or not gold, copper. Okay, so Summer Crush is what I'm using to get this good orange color. And then, like she said, copper over top. All right. Hold on. You had to cover that up just nice. So picture this with all of the fabric removed sitting on top of there. Yeah, it's COVID. You can't sneeze that loud. You got to sneeze in your shirt. Have it now. Okay. All right. Oh, with a skeleton shade, you can stick your your lamp in the fire and then it just burns off all the fabric. Yeah. It does oxidize and like char your metal a little bit. It It'll change it your metal. Yeah. It'll change your metal a little bit. It won't be like shiny if it was before. <laughs> Lolly says, rip off those clothes, naked shape. The, re the reason why we use Edison bulbs, guys, be before we go, Edison bulbs have a dim light and the bulb them itself is really beautiful because it's like the antique style bulb. So if you don't have a skeleton shade where you can see the bulb, then what's the point? Like you can't even see it. So we like to take lamps that are kind of fun and we paint them cute. And then we take all the fabric off the shade and then we put the bulb in there and then you get to enjoy the soft amber glow and the beauty of the bulb. Um, and just before we go, I'm also gonna tell you the reason why I picked this particular um, shape for the shade, because I bought it separately, was because it mimicked the Christmas tree effect of the actual lamp itself. And I think if I would have went with a round shade, it just wouldn't have looked as good. So that's why I picked that one. So I get asked those kinds of things. All right. Les says, think... please say that again about the lampshade. So I take the fabric off. So that way we can use an Edison bulb, which is like an antique style bulb. And you want to be able to see the bulb because it's not super bright and it's really beautiful. So we do this so that way you can see the bulb that we use. And if you don't know what an Edison bulb is, you can Google it and you'll see the cool picture. It's named after Thomas Edison because he invented the light bulb. Or at least that's what we were told. That's what history says. That's what history says. All right, guys, we're going to go and rest. Hopefully you guys have a restful weekend and no more, no more mishaps. <laughs> Knock on wood. All right, love you guys. Make sure you hit up jrvhome.com for the items you saw tonight and home decor and clothes and the new skincare line, all the awesomeness. And then jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we used tonight. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. All right, that's half of a half of a. Oh, less said about the fire. You can just throw this in your fire pit and it burns the fabric, but not the metal. And then you don't have to rip it all off. I was wondering what Les was asking. All right, guys, catch you later. Bye, guys.